हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल बर्तेता लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म माय सेल्फ विकास शाक्या वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन माय चैनल एंड इन दिस प्लेलिस्ट ऑफ सी प्लस प्लस टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स सो टुडे वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द नल पीटीआर यू माइट हैव सीन दिस न्यू कीवर्ड नल पीटीआर एडेड आफ्टर सी प्लस प्लस फोर्टीन एंड यू माइट हैव यूज दिस नल मेनी टाइम्स इन योर कोड so first understand what is null and what is null ptr so null is a macro basically it's compatible to a integer so when the null is used with the pointers and compared with the pointers then this is very fine to work with but sometimes we may face issues when we are using the overloaded functions and one of the functions is taking the pointer as the argument so let us see an example suppose i have a function void fun in this function i am going to take one argument of type caret strict and there is another function where i am going to take one argument of type integer just to indicate that inside which function we are in i am just going to add some message here i am going to add one more message let me type here for the type of argument now let me try to call the function fun using null what do you think will happen you can see that null has been used as a number as an integer this has been defined as an integer and you all know this this null is an integer and this null also represents a null pointer but here there are two functions one function takes pointer and the other function with the same name takes an integer so which function it is going to call how it will decide obviously it is not able to decide so in this case if you run it you will be able to see a compilation error so before that let me just put a semicolon here and now let us run again now you can see call of overloaded function is ambiguous ambiguous means it is not able to decide which one need to be called so here what we need to do if i provide null ptr then in this case it will work fine it will call the pointer null ptr is exactly representing the pointer and the other thing is with respect to these null pointer null ptr is that it is convertible to bool the second statement you can see this is convertible to bool i will share the code with you in the same video as the comment in the comment section and i will pin that now this is convertible to bool what does this mean this means that if you write like this if null ptr then it means it's false and the else part will be executed here you can put some statement so that you can see where it was called i put this and i run this inside the else so null ptr represents false and if some value is not null ptr then it is true so this null ptr just like null is convertible to bool now there are few things that you need to remember and you can check it yourself when you compare using this or this operator greater than equal to or smaller than equal to operator then in this in this case uh, your comparison with the null pointer null ptr will always return true so let us see this part 
and rest of the part you can do it yourself. So let me just do one thing in test trick P1 is equal to null PTR and in test trick P2 is equal to null PTR. If I use P1 is smaller than equal to P2 then it will always be true. No matter the two values are same or not, this will always be true. So if I run this, it should return me true. But if you use smaller than, not smaller than equal to, just smaller than, then in that case, it will return false. So that is why nothing has been printed here because this is not true. Similarly, if you use greater than, then also it will return false. Nothing printed because it is false. This condition is false. And if you put P1 double equals to P2, it will return true or false based on the values in P1 and P2. Just like here, both are equal, so it is returning true. But if I put it like not equal to P2 and if I put here something like int k is equal to 10 and here if I put address of k then it will again return true because P1 is not equal to P2. So based on the values if there is a null PTR assigned to it or not with respect to the other value with respect to the other pointer in that case if the both values are not same, one thing has been assigned with the value uh, pointing to some memory address and the other pointer pointing to null PTR, in that case it will return true. So this is very simple, I think this was not needed to be explained but still I tried to cover it all. So guys, this is all about the null PTR and I hope you are now clear about this. So this thing is something which is uh, usually asked in the interview questions if you are a C++ programmer and you are going to give any interview. So this is all about for today's video. Next video we'll meet soon again. Until then, have a nice day and bye-bye.